What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. This video I continue with stoichiometric questions and this one is related to additional conversion factors in a stoichiometric calculation which includes volume density and percent composition. Let's read the question. An alloy using aircraft structures consists of 93.7% aluminum and 6.3% copper by mass. So 93.7% aluminum and 6.3% copper by mass. The alloy has a density of 2.85 grams per cubic centimeter. A 0.691 cubic centimeter piece of alloy reacts with an excess of HCl. If we assume that all the aluminum but none of the copper reacts with HCl, what is the mass of H2 obtained? So this alloy has aluminum and Cu and it reacts with HCl, the acid, hydrochloric acid, but only Al reacts. So it's going to be Al plus HCl that gives us AlCl3 plus H2. Then we need to balance it. So let's have two in here, two, six, and three. Now it's balanced. We have two aluminum, six hydrogen, and six chlorine. <coughs> now I need to know, it says how many mass of hydrogen is produced. First of all, we need to see how much aluminum we have. So we have 0.691 cubic centimeter the volume of the piece of alloy we need to find the mass so that's going to be 2.85 grams per cubic centimeter which is the density if we multiply it's going to be 1.97 almost grams of aluminium now I need to know the number of moles of aluminium. So we need to divide it by the atomic mass of aluminium. Atomic mass of aluminium is 26.98. So 1.97 divided by 26.98, which makes it 0.073 moles. That's the number of moles of aluminium. So, for every 2 moles of aluminium, we produce 3 moles of hydrogen. If we have 0.073 moles of aluminium, how many moles of hydrogen produced? So, it's going to be 3 times 0.073 divided by 2. 3 times 0.073 divided by 2, which makes it 0.1095 moles. That's the number of moles of hydrogen produced h to produce now i need to know the mass mass is n times m number of moles times molar mass molar mass of h2 is 2 times 1.008 so which is 2.016 that makes it 0.22 grams that's the mass of hydrogen produced during this chemical reaction this is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. And please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you and have a great day.